Hey, folks. Mariana and Sumantro. Hello, everyone. Great to oh, see you nice. both. Uh, and it looks like it is 930, so let us begin. Um, I'm Marie Norton. I am Fedora's Community Action and Impact Coordinator. And I will pass it over to Sumantro to introduce himself. Okay, I'm Sumantro. I work for the QA team and I am a, a co lead for the Rizan with Mariana. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our session. My name is Mariana and I am a Fedora contributor. Awesome. All right, I'm going to work on getting my slides up right now. Let's see what we got here. Give me one moment. All right. Can folks see that? Let's see, should we do this as full screen percent as much? There we go. All right, welcome to our session on the community outreach revamp objective. So first off, I'm just going to give folks a little bit of history on uh, how this objective and revamp came to be. So. What is the Fedora Ambassador Program? It is a 15 year plus program within the Fedora community to provide outreach outside and within our community doing various events, activities. Um, yes, I started the ambassadors, love to all the ambassadors everywhere. We love to see that. So over, over the years, um, the ambassador program grew. More people came to it and the Fedora project in general grew. So as time went on, things changed and uh, the program wasn't really focused on sustainability. So things kind of uh, went this way or that, different directions, and uh, it, it wasn't seeing quite as much success as it was in activity. So meanwhile, uh, the other question is, what are what is the join SIG advocates and comops team, right? So. Join SIG is something that kind of came off of the ambassadors as really just a low barrier to entry group to invite and welcome newcomers. So just setting them up with, hey, here's your Fedora account and hey, pointing them in uh, the right direction to get started. Okay, Advocates was something that came along to, to uh, lower the barrier entry to get resources to run events. So it was for folks who um, didn't want to necessarily do the full ambassador program, but still wanted to be able to run events in their local areas. ComOps team is something that existed from a couple of F cakes ago, and that was uh, originally ideated, ideated as a community operations team that focused on metrics and communication between the different teams that are now known to be under the Mindshare committee. So. Uh, there's a lot of different names and a lot of different teams and backgrounds and, and little bits that this team does and that team does or doesn't, right? Okay. So how did we get to the revamp? Well, I came into this position. I remember the first thing Matthew and Ben said to me, he said, probably don't want to do anything with ambassadors for a little bit. <laughs> uh, so anyway, it was a couple months in and I think there was some activity on one of the ambassador tickets. It might've been Mindshare a conversation about it. <laughs> um, Matthew says we didn't <laughs> want to throw you right into the fire. Right. So uh, there was a conversation. It came back up. And meanwhile, in my in my work with the open source program office, we were reading about change management. And we looked at uh, the Florida ambassador program and said, we kind of used it as a case study. He said, hey, what could be changed here? To, to make this program a success again. So armed with those kind of evaluations that me and uh, a few other folks from OSPO, our OSPO book club did, um, I decided to write a, a proposal for a revamp. And I sat down, hacked it for two days, came up with a bunch of pages of stuff and, and then put it out there. And uh, we went through <laughs> multiple rounds of feedback and then uh, I'm just going to leave it to Mariana from here. Thanks, Marie. <clears throat> so 
RAMP initiative uh, started back in July 2020. Marie uh, presented the initial proposal on a, on a ticket on the Mindshare repo, uh, where she presented the entire idea, the background of that, the background story, and was uh, inviting people to lead this initiative. And this is where Samantha and myself joined, and we formed our small team of three people. Once our team was formed, we started planning what our next steps were going to be in the next months. And this is where we came up with the Trello board, where we added tasks and uh, action items and timelines for these action items, hoping that we will have to work with the broader community in order to fulfill these tasks. Uh, a few months later, we realized that this board didn't attract many contributors, so we retired it. It's there for documentation purposes, but we don't use it anymore. Instead, we have a HackMD file, a public HackMD file, where we keep notes on our weekly meetings and where we keep everything about what we've done so far and what our plans are for the next months and weeks. So once we had everything in place in terms of documentation, we started launching the, uh, the revamp process and presented it to the community. Uh, initially, we had to kick off meetings, to video meetings with community members. We participated on a council video meeting where we presented uh, the revamp. Th this video meeting, the council meeting, is on YouTube, so you can have a look at that. And we also had an MAA meeting, an Ask Me Anything meeting, where we answered to community questions, but also came up with a list of questions that we thought might be of interest for uh, the community uh, to know in certain topics. Our very first project within the revamp, I like to call them projects, uh, was the ambassadors cleanup. We, we all know that the Fedora project has so many ambassadors, but many of them have been quite inactive over the years, and it's, this is uh, completely normal. So we ran a script in November to check who has been inactive through their fast accounts uh, in the past six months, so from November and going back six months. And we identified those people, we reached out to them, let them know about the revamp, and uh, we asked them if they want to come back, and if they didn't come back, they would be awarded the emeritus status. Of course, everyone is welcome to come back anytime. Uh, the next thing that we worked on was the community outreach revamp. This was one of the most interesting uh, things that we have worked so far, uh, and I'm very happy that we did work on that because uh, the results that we had were very interested about the future of the entire Fedora community. So what we did was create a survey for the community members, not necessarily ambassadors, but everyone who has contributed at any uh, way to the Fedora community. We asked them how they participate in the community, how they organize events, how they do outreach locally in their local communities. And we asked for their suggestions on what they think that we can do better on this. And one of the most interesting outcomes was that we found out that people love self-organizing. This means that there is a lot more Fedora activity out there that we're not aware of because people do organize events and they do not let the entire uh, international community on what they're working on or what they do. Uh, you can find the full list of uh, the, the results and after we analyze them on the uh, community blog. I can share later on a link with a blog post where we presented that um, with the entire rest of the community. Uh, in those lines, together with the outreach uh, survey, we also did some Mindshare Teams interviews where we asked uh, people in the Mindshare community to tell us a little bit more on their involvement with the, the various outreach teams. Besides uh, being uh, a community project, uh, the revamp, we are now officially um, a council. Um, we have the uh, status of the objective starting from, on, uh, from February 2021. And we hope to have this objective uh, finished in the upcoming months, hopefully in 2021. Our current 
project within the revamp is uh, the World Handbooks. This is a work in progress project. Uh, I'm very excited about it, same as the outreach survey, because together with the documentation that we have now, the outreach, uh, the role handbooks will serve as an onboarding for the new contributors in order to help them understand better what they can do within the community and what they can do within uh, a certain outreach team and how they can interact and collaborate with other uh, teams once they're there. We are drafting those role handbooks. If you're interested in writing or even reviewing the, the text that we've created so far, or even translated that in the future, you're more than welcome to join us. Uh, another thing is the community engagement survey questions. We have teamed up with the council. They're creating, uh, the council is creating a, a list of questions for an annual survey and we are helping draft those questions uh, with the experience that we have from the uh, outreach, the community outreach survey, the, the, the experience we have from the results once we heard that what the community is interested at. I'm happy that we uh, had the chance to, to join DEFCONF uh, CZ in February. Again, this is uh, a recorded talk and you can find it on YouTube, and also you are all invited to join us at the Community Central in June. Community Central is a series of video interviews sponsored by Red Hat and will also be in YouTube. I think it's going to be a live session, so if you have a chance to join us, I'm not sure about the time or the date, but uh, we'll have plenty of time to let you know when to, when to join us. Our next sub-project is Adbridge. Marie? We have some really exciting news. We are going to have an outreach intern uh, for the upcoming May through August. And the project's title is Develop and Design Assets for the Fedora Community Outreach Revamp. So we basically have a design intern, and we are super excited about it. So based on the different places we've received feedback and just looking at having conversations with Mindshare Committee and various other groups, we've kind of tried to figure out like where, what we want the intern to be working on. So first of all, we want updated logos with the new Fedora logo in uh, the proper formats. Um, we want to create some infographics for the different team structures within Mindshare um, just so that folks can get a better understanding of like what those are and how they relate to each other. Um, we want to make an outreach focused sticker sheet, something that um, ambassadors can be really proud to hand out and also to use and just outreach in general. Um, something that keeps coming up is cheat cubes and uh, people want revised updated versions of the cheat cubes. So we wanna create some modern designs of those um, kind of updating what used to exist, but then also kind of making something fun too, maybe making something a little bit artsier related to badges and maybe one on how to join Fedora. Um, we also are working at, currently working on and want to continue improving with the intern on how to join Fedora printable handouts. So this is along the lines of um, empowering folks to organize on their own and, and have the resources and, and materials they might need. And then um, we also want to create a piece of team swag. So uh, we're not sure what that's going to be yet. I mean, we'll probably have to talk to the stakeholders, the people who are really interested, but um, we want some to, to make something that will kind of uh, give a, a team feeling, right? So something that helps us uh, relate to the identity of ambassadors and outreach and community operations. So that's the story for uh, the internship. And I'm so excited. Uh, we've had a ton of super talented folks come to apply for it already. And we can thank those intern applicants for the work adventure maps that we're using today at the, at, um, the release party. Okay, I will hand it over to Sumatra. 
So there are a couple of things we finally would like to touch base on. As a part of the revamp, the, as, as Murray pointed out primarily, there was a lack of sustainable growth. We were not able to scale out the ambassador's program as we wanted to. So the, the one key factor to keep in mind when we designed this revamp was the sustainability goals. And we realized after a lot of surveys and talking with different temporary task force members that we need, needed to create a, a bunch of role handbooks, which Mar Mar Mariana described, in multiple, as many languages as possible. And we figured out 10 languages that we would like to do it as a part of making sure this is accessible to everybody and making sure that everybody wants to, uh, they can sustain it, they can move it on to the next person that there is to make sure they understand and align with the role and the identity of that particular outreach team. Um, next, to be to kind of put in perspective, we wanted to have this empowering strategy for individual contributors. So we figured out a lot of people would want to go ahead and like do their own events, um, contribute to the project, help with outreach. But that we, we wanted to make them understand it, it is easy for them to contribute. And, you know, like a lot of other federal contributors would think that it's it's mostly about coding, uh, which it is not. There are a lot of ways you can contribute to. And one of the effort that Murray, um, you know, figured out was to have something called Zine, which would basically talk about, you know, the ways that a non-technical contributor would also be able to contribute to the project. It will highlight a lot of other contributors who have already contributed to a project. And we want to make sure that these um, contributor recruitment handouts would reach out to respective outreach teams when they're going out for events and so on and so forth. Right. So that that builds that sense of identity, that builds that sense of empowering individuals about how you can contribute to various teams and various outreach platforms. Um, another important thing which is how we want to wrap it up as a long-term strategy because um, we are currently a council objective and uh, we would probably be there for 12 to 18 months but the whole idea is to make sure that we have these we utilize this 12 to 18 months and make sure that this thing is taken way ahead of its time and the way we want to do it is we want to have very regular surveys um, by making sure the, the com ops team, the mindshare team, they are participate of the community gets awareness about what's happening in the entire federal ecosystem. It's not just about events. It's not just about um, contribution avenues. It's all about. It's also about small changes that come up, like the new logo that came out. Right. So the the community should be aware of what's happening, and we we want to make sure we get there taking baby steps towards that. And we want to make sure that there's a long-term strategy as we build this. So we don't have to fall back upon, um, you know, fall back upon and say, hey, this this did not work out great for us. What to do next? So making sure that that we take as a onboarding process, as a part of the onboarding process, and we move it ahead with time. So with, with these couple of things in mind, we would like to, you know, go ahead with our revamp program if anyone is willing to you know uh, work with us uh, there's a temporary task force team me mariana and murray would help you uh, with all the ways we can to enable you to contribute to this revamp initiative other than that you can read about us on community blog we usually release one uh, you know post every month which uh, kind of highlights what we have done and where we are heading so currently, we are heading towards um, you know, making sure our design in turn works on uh, those, the things that Murray talked about before and uh, the role handbook, the wording of the role handbooks and designing that entire structure. So we are in the process of doing that. As we move ahead, there will be a process for um, gaining, regaining the Emirates ambassador process and making sure they come back to the program. Already, a lot of people have start, started reaching out to us. Um, as they want to get back to the ambassadors program and soon there would be a formalized process of how they can get back to us. So these are the kind of th things which would be uh, we would be doing in the coming days. You can read about them. And that's all. That's that's.
from my side. So if you have any questions, you can post them, ask them right now. Feel free to ask any questions. Maybe I have not. a question for the attendees. Was this the first time you heard about the revamp? Alberto just smiles. <laughs> we know you've heard of it. Oh, Edward has <laughs> a question for us. What revamp? Harold, the revamp we were just talking about today. <laughs> okay, and Fedora groups. So meaning probably IRC or something. Telegram. Yeah. I think Edward has a question for us, but he's typing. Okay, as part of the marketing team, there are tasks that some ambassadors can take and work in the marketing te team to help revive the team. So yes, uh, we actually are thinking about marketing as we do the revamp. And um, I wouldn't, I would say that I think the marketing team deserves its own special attention to an extent, but some of the things that we're incorporating into the processes for the various outreach teams will include marketing efforts Does that help. I do think that marketing team on its own could use uh, a revamp, but we can only do so many at once. <laughs> and we are, we're kicking that, there's another one. Awesome, yes. So marketing is definitely part of what we're thinking about. Any other questions folks might have? Oops. Well, thanks everybody for coming to our presentation. We are excited to continue this work and um, it's something we found is just, it's like a what's the, um, turtle wins the race or whatever. <laughs> it's slow but steady. And we've found that um, when we ask folks to jump in and help us, they're more than willing and excited to get involved. So uh, maybe we'll think of you next and invite you into to work on a project for with us. And um, we're going to continue steady on. Sumatra. Oh, did you want to say something? You unmuted. Oh, OK. Well, right. Thanks to everybody for, for coming. And I believe the next session is a CPE weekly report live. So I will see everybody over there in a couple minutes. Thanks again. <laughs>